Hello and welcome Ice to Shim in the hangar. Today I will show you why I think those are the best cells for long range copter or plane flying. How easy it is for not so talented DIY people to solder these packs and how cheap they actually are and how expensive they can be if you buy them directly at the DJI store. Check this video out too. You will find it interesting or at least entertaining I hope. Earlier this year, on one of those nice FPV meetings, I chatted with a quite nerdy, tech-savvy guy about good batteries. He showed me these rarely protected cells that he used and he had awesome flight times. And of course I asked him, hey, where have you gotten those? He and his buddies found, uh, searched quite a long time for the perfect cells and apparently they found something sketchy on AliExpress and they tried to order them and they turned out really really good. He allowed me to share these secret batteries. I mean secret. Those are the cells that also go into the expensive Mavic Mini 3 Pro proprietary cells. So these packs can get very lightweight. We're talking about 20 grams for, for nearly 4000 milliamp 4S pack. Compare that to your usual LiPos and you will be amazed. But there's one caveat. You can only draw around 12 amps permanently out of it. Peak power goes up to 20, maybe 30 amps. But don't blast around with this full throttle all the time, you will kill the cells. So those are meant for efficiency. Talking about efficiency, in my flight log I see that with a normal Dolphin I got 30 minutes. With this thing here I got 27 minutes. I think the best application for me is something like a little 4 inch drone, a long range drone. I have the DJI 04 on this even and this is such a nice package. You can cover quite a lot of distance with this paired with 04 and still TBS Crossfire on it. And the other thing I use it on is the old Dolphin. It's only like half a kilo. F90 T motor on it and I think it's a 7x4. Also quite an efficient platform. They go up to 4.25 volts and you can discharge them down to 2.8 volts. For normal LiPos you should stop flying at 3.5, 3.6-ish. Lithium ions you can go down to 3 volts or like this year 2.8 volt. Yeah, the sketchy thing is you can get those on AliExpress. For me it took around 2 weeks for them to be delivered. And default the link goes to the smaller cell. Pay attention, it's only a 2.4 amp. So you need to take the middle one. And the color it says this 93387 2D. So for one pack you pay 28 euros, which is really, really not a lot. There's one downside though. Sorry to my viewers in Germany. Apparently AliExpress doesn't deliver those cells to Germany. I tried a lot of other countries, all of them work as a destination, but not Germany, sorry. And the scary thing is, if you solder them yourselves, you have a good chance of crashing because of your solder job was crappy maybe. So that's something that always prevented me from creating my own DIY cells. But in this case, you cannot buy these in with those properties as a fixed pack. So you need to fabricate them yourselves. Check out my soldering now. They come well packaged in this pouch, another pouch. The contacts are isolated. Such a pack of cells, conveniently four cells in a pack. There's one important thing about the minus pole, the shorter one, is a nickel copper mixture and you can easily solder or pre-tin it. And the plus pole starts off with aluminum and then you see tacked nickel copper. So the first step is to pre-tin those lids on both sides because later I will bridge them and if you apply heat from above through the tin, through the solder, it gives you the best bonding. You want to use a bit of sandpaper to roughen it up a bit. Just make a few scratches. Please don't try to use steel wool and connect them. Uh, you will actually light this on fire and damage your battery. We want to concentrate on the on the tip because this is what works. It's already roughened up a bit. 
So I will prepare all of my cells and continue. Try to use as little time on your battery lids as possible. So I heat it up for a few seconds. But yeah, this is what you want to have. Once again, heat it a bit. Yeah, that's the way it should work. And it works only on the nickel copper. It's not perfect, but as I said, I don't have the best soldering skills. Pre-tinning all the cable ends, the XT60 connectors actually need to be really flat because they will be soldered onto a flat surface. And I have two four cell balance connectors. Pre-tin all of this to make our lives way easier. And for the whole project I use this TBS solder. Not important that it's from TBS, but the good thing is the tin lead ratio of 63 by 7 by 33 and the flux of yeah 2% or more is good. Okay, the cables are pre-tinned. Now it's time to connect the cells in series. So since I want to have a four cell LiPo, I will connect minus to plus. I will give you a drawing of the connection scheme, but it's pretty simple. The first plus goes to the XT60 lead, plus, and then minus will go to the plus of the next cell, and this minus will go to the plus of the next cell. So it's yeah, plus to minus, plus to minus, and so forth. To have it easier, you want to double-sided tape these packs together. Line them up well. You just have to fold them up, and if we apply heat up here now, it will have a very good bonding on this sandwich, and it will be a solid bridge. Yeah, it's maybe a bit thin, but yeah. I want to make sure that nothing can touch this, and it also held in place by the tape. And for the next two cells, I have to get in the tape here in this slit, so I would use the double-sided sticky tape on the bottom and not all the way to the top to have some space. So let's connect another one in series. Just make sure that minus doesn't come to minus, which is easy with the barcode. And here we have the next. Oh, and I've already forgot one thing. Of course, we need to solder in the balance lead. So don't do this before you solder in the balance lead. Oh. And once again, you will have this in a graphic, what to connect where. But yeah, the first or the red balance connector will go to the main plus. The next one go to this bridge, the third one go to that bridge, the other bridge and then to the minus. So for this bridge we actually need the second wire. Just make sure it is a good connection. And then cover it. Also make sure to not to short anything. Balance lead on this bridge. Yes. It should liquefy. And now cover it with tape once again. That we also want to check is if we have continuity from the first to the last plus. And if we have yeah, 15.6 volts on a half charged one. Sounds about right. This means we connected everything right and all the cells are alive. Of course you only see this after a few cycles if the cells are really of good quality or if you have to exchange one. I think they should be quite good quality because DJI, but who knows. Main leads to plus and minus. And you want to have some cable tension relief system in place, if you know what I mean. This looks like a really good connection. That's how you want the bonding of the solder to be. And it's the correct pole as well, plus, yeah. But I feel like the most important thing is to pre-tin everything. It makes life so much easier. Okay, I have plus and minus connected now. The danger of them connecting together, so yeah. I will just use enough tape to hold them in place that way. And then I use some shrink heat shrink to pack it up nicely. But first let's test this pack, if also the balance lead works. Yeah. 
that looks good. Single cell voltages when delivered is at 3.9. Oh, and all quite nicely matched. Yep. Ah, das kostet schon nur die Speicherplatz. Okay, just make it long enough. As I said, not 100% sure if this is the best way to do it, but a way to stand corrected. For what I do here to this, to this pack. And I also like to add a few extra grams of unnecessary weight. So, now the nice part. That's another scary part. You shouldn't apply too much heat to the cells. And now I use a heat gun. <laughs> but if you also use your fingers, you kind of feel the heat early enough, I hope. Yeah. Not overdo the heat. Oh, and if I was more intelligent, I would have labeled this pack, because I label all my packs, below the heat shrink but yeah this will be pack 190 and yes they are labeled in a consecutive order that's crazy x 190 that's of course my personal preference but here comes another little tip which of course involves some clear tape if you want the permanent marker to really be permanent just use some clear tape covering it. This way you don't scratch it away with your fingers. It's not the most beautiful pack in the world, but it's one of the most efficient out there. And compare this, like roughly 7 euros per cell, 28. Maybe it's 30, 30 euros for this pack. Compare this to the prices of the proprietary DJI packs. Yeah, DJI packs have battery management system and their self discharge electronics on the board, but it's a 50 cent board. Anyways, that's how you make the DJI packs with the secret sauce. Well, the Dolphin with its nearly 30 amp draw on full throttle be too much for these. 12 amp continuous and up to 20 amp for a short period of time battery. I guess it will not be a racer with it. So for long range and efficiency, this might be the optimal pack because it has nearly 4,000 ma. Uh, it's perfect CG on my installation when the pack's quite far in the front. Okay, I'm just test fitting the batteries. Yeah, let me blow your minds a bit. It's 276 grams. And I will reveal the milliamps of this later. And these packs are all in the 220 to 25 ish region. My production tolerances are there. Those are 3950 or 3850, almost 4000 ma. And this is a 2600 ma. It's not really fair. This is a way stronger 40C pack. 90 to 100 amps could be drawn. But in reality, when I 30 amps with the Penguin from this, it sags quite a lot. So SLS Extrons from, from Europe, they are quite good. Okay, just had a really relaxing flight with the Dolphin. Dolphin has not been changed a lot over the time since my last tips video. But I got the good 3000 milliampere out of this 3850 it was a really good flight i landed at 3.2 volts so i still had a good amount of juice left it's it's a nice option and yeah they were quite nice if you have similar cells let me know in the comments i'm curious to learn what you are using of course the other quite easy way to get good and long flight times are lithium ion packs but lithium iron has a bit of a lower voltage, so a bit less power than these here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.